Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we're gonna be drawing a chibi Deadpool. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the head first and we're gonna draw from the left to the right by semicircle. So we'll go ahead and start on the left hand side here and we're gonna draw, draw down a halfway circle in there. All right. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, on the right hand side, go ahead and go down. And we're gonna stop right there. And then the next thing we're gonna do is gonna draw the cheeks connected to the jaw on the down to the chin. Starting on the left hand side, we'll go ahead and just draw out and then inward and down and then connect it to the right hand side. Okay. And then after, once we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and draw the top of his hood. So it's gonna go out from the left-hand side. It's gonna, it's gonna curve out a little and then in and then out and then connect it back to the other side, the right-hand side. Okay. And then after, once we got the head, we're gonna go ahead and make Deadpool's eyes. So we'll go ahead and start on the left-hand side over here. And we're gonna draw a slant to the right. So we'll go ahead and draw up. Okay. And then we're gonna stop halfway. And then we're gonna go down, curving it and halfway, and then connecting it back like a triangle. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the right hand side. We're gonna go ahead and go up, and then we're gonna stop, and then we're gonna go down halfway to the cheeks and stop, and then connect it to the top. And then go ahead and just draw Deadpool eyes. Go ahead and make a circle. Okay. And then I'm going ahead and color in Deadpool's eyes. All right, and once we're done with the eyes, we're gonna draw the two lines connecting from the top to the bottom. Starting on the left-hand side of the top, we're gonna draw a line up. And we're gonna draw a line on the bottom to connect that and then do the same thing on the right hand side up and then we're gonna do the rest on the bottom and that should complete his face and then we're gonna draw a little snout in the middle of his face and then right after that once we're done with the face we are gonna draw the hand and the body next so on the left and right hand side we do a diagonal out starting on the left hand side we're going to draw a diagonal out so we'll go ahead and draw that and then connect it a little small short line and then inward diagonal and then we're going to draw it down and then we're going to stop and then we're going to do the same thing on the right hand side we're going to go diagonally down stop make a small line in the middle and then go inward and then we're going to go down all right and that is going to complete his body and his hands. Next, we're gonna draw his hands, his fingers on the left and the right hand side. Starting on the left hand side, we're gonna go curve in, we're gonna make his thumb, and then we're gonna do on his next fingers, same thing, we're gonna curve in, curve out, and then in, and then curve out, and then in, and then connect to his hand. And we do the same thing on the right hand side, Starting with the thumb on the top, so we're gonna go in and then curve that, and then do the same thing. And then finish the second one, and then the third one, and then connect it right back to his right hand side, and that's it. And once that is done, we are going to go ahead and draw his little strap for his backpack. So we'll go ahead and just draw the left hand side. We're gonna go ahead and just draw going diagonally out from his neck out to his hand. And then do the same thing on the right hand side, diagonally out from his head and out to his hand. And then connect that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw some little details to his straps. Add some lines on the left and the right hand side. And then add little circles to finish it off. And there you have it his backpack straps. And next I'm going to draw his inner detail lines for his wrist. So on the left hand side, we're gonna make a line in the middle 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the right hand side. And I'll go ahead and color that in. And once that is done, I am going to head and start the inward of his body, this detail stripes. So we start on the top left, and then we're gonna go down to his waist and an inward line and color that in real quick. And then I'll do the same thing on the right hand side detail. I'm gonna go ahead and color that in, downward, in, out, and then back in, connecting. Okay, and once I color this in, that should complete his body, all the details. And the next thing we're gonna do is gonna draw his swords he's gonna be holding. Starting on the left hand side, we are gonna make a little square on the top, and then we're gonna make a square on the bottom, and then we're gonna make a little handle stick on the top of his hand fingers, and then we're gonna draw upward, curve and then connect it straight up and then we draw a line in the middle to connect the sword and we're going to repeat the same thing on the right hand side here so we'll go ahead and start on the bottom make a little square bottom and then a top square and then we draw a little handle on top and then right after that we're going to draw a little curve upward and then we're going to connect it to down to the sword and draw a line in the middle and that should complete that okay so now we'll start with the body okay so we're gonna draw his little belt and the little details to it so we draw a circle right here in the middle we'll go ahead and draw that and then I'm going to draw a line in the middle for the belt for the details and then I'm gonna add a little square to connect the belt and then add another square on the right hand side, another square on the left hand side, and add a little details. And then that should complete that for the belt. Next, now we'll start the legs. Starting on the left hand side, we're gonna go diagonally down, and then we're gonna curve inward, and then we're gonna go up, and then another curve upside down U. And then we're gonna make on the right hand side downward and then connect inward. And that should complete his legs. And then I'm gonna draw the little details for his pants. So we're gonna be two stripes on the outer edge of the pants, left and the right hand side. Okay, and once that is done, we're gonna draw his little stripes for his shoes. So go ahead and draw that. Make a little square, curve in, and then up. And I'll go ahead and color those in. And once that is colored in, we're gonna draw his shoes next. On the left and the right hand side, we're gonna curve out and then inward and connect it. Starting on the left hand side, we're gonna go and we're gonna ahead and make a curve outside. Okay, and then we're gonna go in and then do the same thing on the right hand side. We're gonna go inward and then out, make a curve and then connect back to the right leg. And I'll go ahead and draw the little details for the shoes. So it's going to be colored on the edge, black, and then inward. Color that in and do the rinse and repeat the same thing on the right hand side. And I'll go ahead and just color that in. Okay, and once that is done, so now I am going to, I am going to outline him real quick and then I'm going to color him and you can see the final look, what it looks like. So I'll do that real quick. All right, so here it goes. I'm gonna ahead and draw the detail right now so you can watch this. I'm just gonna fast forward it real quick. Okay, so that is all done and now we're gonna start the coloring process. So I'm going ahead and just color in this real quick.
All right, and this is the final product of the Chibi Deadpool, my version. If you like this video, click the subscribe button, hit the like, and leave a comment down below. Tell me what would you like to see next. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, take care.